Who makes the best foam cannon? $20 all the way up to $110. We're going to be using my gas pressure washer alongside pretty much the smallest possible electric pressure washer on the market. So we're gonna be using Adam's Mega Foam in each with a concentration of two ounces and the bottle then filled to one liter. Now I got the low end of the spectrum here. So we're talking 1.2 GPM and 1,800 PSI. Now this is with a tip from the gas pressure washer, the 40 degree. So about 750 PSI and yeah, that 1.2 gallons per minute. Gas pressure washer. Now this is supposed to be 3,100 PSI, 2.4 gallons per minute. So how does the actual soaper do that came with the Ryobi? Yeah, that does pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Wow, this thing is downright horrible. Definitely some decent foam right there. Kind of runny there. better look at that definitely an improvement Definitely a big difference. Again, a lot better foaming action. A little better, but still really, really runny. Pretty runny as well there with the chemical guys. Look at that, that's, that's pretty good right there, especially with this pressure washer. So now I'm gonna give it the best worst case scenario here. We're gonna use concentrate, and of course the $100 electric pressure washer.
definitely some pretty cool stuff. So from all that testing, here's how I would rank them. So the SBR soaper that comes with the Ryobi pressure washer, yeah, I guess it's better than nothing, but it's pretty close to it. I'm gonna put the Armor All dead last. It's quite expensive at $50 here with very poor performance, no matter if we use the gas, electric, or even this hose adapter. The only thing to me that's nice about this is the sticker. You do have a wide mouth opening, but you can't change the nozzle between vertical or horizontal here, nor can you change the spread or the installed orifice. On top of that, it just feels quite cheap. The green earth, now, yes, this is marketed as a foam blaster, not a foam cannon, but you'll find this in Home Depot under the Ryobi name for quite a bit more. Even at $20, I'm having a hard time justifying this. With the small soap bottle, fixed orientation, but adjustable spread, fixed internal orifice, one thing I do like though, how quick you can go from soap to no soap. Chemical guys, I like the bottle. Solid adjustment here where it's gonna stay in place, but you only have that single orientation. You can't turn this. So the spread is the only thing that is adjustable. Brass housing and it does come installed with the 1.1, which is what most people are going to be using for orifice size. To me, it's just grossly overpriced at $100 for what you're getting. Small bottle tool daily. Overall did all right for the price, but I do think they offer a better option. You have that adjustable spread, but it is single orientation. With a 1.1 orifice installed, and it comes with some extra tips and a clean out. One thing I don't care for with this tool daily is you are plastic on brass thread with that small opening. Foam can from Harbor Freight. The biggest drawback to this is going to be that orifice. It has a 1.25 installed. I wish it came with a 1.1. So the majority of people to get the best performance are gonna to wanna to upgrade that internal orifice to a 1.1. But overall quality seems pretty good. You have this big bottle. You can only adjust the spread. You can't adjust the orientation. Adams Polish, quality overall is really good. Large bottle plastic to plastic threads. You can adjust the spread and the orientation of the spread. Also accepts the bottles they sell. So if you wanted to use something like this colored foam, you can screw this bottle right in without even having to dump it into the container. Price to me is a little high at $75, but the biggest drawback is it comes with a 1.25 orifice installed. I would like to see it also come with a 1.1 so you could swap that out. Coming in third, gonna be the Tool Daily here. We have a massive jug for product, plastic to plastic thread, wide mouth opening, adjustable spread pattern, and you can change the orientation. Comes with a 1.25 orifice installed, but you also get a 1.1 with it. Extra O-rings, foam maker, and tip clean out tool. A very unique feature of this is if you unscrew this here, if you currently have a pressure washer with the thread adapter, you can attach it to it here, making SBR versus the rest. If you're not wanting to upgrade the wand, this is a pretty good option to save some money at the end of the day without having to have your foam cannon way out here in LR form. The only drawback I have to this is the housing here is not brass, even though it looks like brass. This is actually either aluminum or possibly pop metal, but I would assume this is actually aluminum here. I would have probably gave this number one if this was brass. Second place going to the MTM. Decent sized bottle, small opening. It is nice, they do provide you with a cap for the bottle in case you wanted to store the product in the bottle without the head on it. Comes with a 1.25 orifice installed and also a 1.1 so you can swap it out alongside a extra foam maker. Best adjustment of the spread in my book. So all the way open, there is all the way closed. Now we look at the other foam makers, you can actually close those two plates. Now if you go to use it like that, the spread is not gonna be very good. You're gonna to have to get it to a similar position to this. 
to get a decent spread pattern. So pretty solid adjustment. And you can also change the orientation. If you hear that there, that is a detent for that orientation. Same thing on the product to water ratio knob on the top. You know, I just don't care for that small opening. I really wish they would have went with a wide mouth opening, more support, easier to put product in. Now this is the only one that's not made in China, but actually Italy. And it also has the highest pressure rating of the ones tested. But if you're detailing cars full time, this is probably the pick to go with. So now this is a shocker. Out of all the ones tested, this is the lowest MSRP coming in at $23. With a decent sized bottle, wide mouth opening, plastic to plastic, brass main housing, with actually a one millimeter orifice installed versus a 1.1 or a 1.25. You can easily adjust that spread and the orientation of that spread. It did quite well on the gas pressure washer and also the electric. I don't think you can beat the performance for the price. Now at the end of the day, for the most part, if you're using a electric pressure washer, you're going to want something with a 1.1 size orifice in it versus a 1.25 to get you the best performance possible with your foam cannon. So here's the table with the overall specs. So we got the model MSRP, max pressure rating, bottle size, bottle opening size, what orifice is actually installed from factory, if it comes with a second orifice, where it's made, and then additional features and additional things they do come with. So you have it, Astro at number one, MTM coming in second. Now I will say if you're using this professionally, I would probably put this as first for that, and the Tool Daily coming in third. So there's my ranking from first all the way to seventh place. I'll leave the links below to each of these and also to the colored foam. I thought this was pretty cool. So let me know below if you think I should compare electric pressure washers. I do have that test rig now built with the flow rater and pressure gauge. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.